What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oops Gangster here. All right, so we've not made a connection yet. Android and Alex are like two brothers from their mother. They are close related. And in fact, you can practically run any version of Linux on your Android device. Now, we're not going to go and get to the whole debate of whether or not Android is Linux and the whole hybrid thing, but the point is, it's a neat thing to do. Now, for this video, I'm going to show you how to run Arch Linux on your Android device. Arch Linux is a popular operating system known for its customability and just how you can customize everything and add stuff and tinker it to your desire. Now, doing this is going to be really easy because we're going to use an app called Arch Linux Installer, but we're still going to go through setting up the desktop environment like KDE, Galaxy, and GNOME. So to do this, you'll need the following. First, a rooted Android device. Next, you'll need at least 1500 megabytes of free space available on your SD card, preferably 2 gigs, but 1500 megabytes will do. And lastly, your device will need to have some type of internet connection so you can download the image file and do all the upgrades right from your device. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get it started. Open source hey! Alright, so before we begin running Arc Linux on Android device, the first thing we need to download is a fabulous app called Arc Linux Installer. Now, similar to Ubuntu Installer or Complete Linux Installer, this app sets up Arc Linux on an Android device simply by downloading the image and setting up the script for us. So all the hard stuff is taken care of. All we need to do is go and customize it and set up the X server and desktop interface, and that's pretty much it. So, download Arc Linux Installer. In addition, you're going to need an app called Android Terminal Emulator, and that's just so the script can run in a shell window. And optionally, but highly recommend it, you should download an app called Android VNC Viewer, and that's just so you can view the GUI. Alright, so let's go back to Arc Linux Installer and get that up and running. Inside Arc Linux Installer, you're going to see Download Install Arc Linux. So select that. It's going to make sure you have root access and Android terminal emulator installed. Hit next. All right, and now you can dedicate how much memory you want to your image file. Now, it's recommended around 1500 megabytes. I say go for more towards 2 gigs, just because once you start downloading your desktop interface and you start downloading extra programs, it's really going to start to add up. So I'm going to create a 2 gig image file. But you need, you need at least 700 megabytes, but 2 gigs is preferable. And also, just a little note up here, it says external storage and internal storage. In the case of, I guess, my Galaxy S3 and any Galaxy S3 or HD device, it's still going to be internal storage either way, because, you know, your external SD card is still your internal storage. So, unfortunately for that. Okay, I'm going to go to install, and it's going to open up a terminal emulator and start creating our image file. This is going to take around maybe one or two minutes, so just give that time. Alright, so once it completes, you should see it's saying installation complete, press enter to continue, so hit enter. Alright, and then it's going to close out of there, but don't worry. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Arc Linux program. Alright, and you should see an option that says run Arc Linux. Hit that. And it's going to start booting, and BAM! If you see root at localhost, then you are currently in Arc Linux. Now, if you're getting some type of device loop uh, error or a loop busy or loop busy device error type thing that most likely means that the kernel on your device does not support loop device. The only solution to that will be to download in our kernel such as CyanogenMod or AOKP or AOSP. So if you have that error, do that. Elsewise, congratulations, you are right now in Arc Linux. Okay, now we need to get the good stuff set up. We need to go and get the GUI set up and just get some good stuff going now. Alright, so before we begin, I'm actually going to hook in my USB um, host device just so I can hook up my keyboard because we're about to type a whole lot right now. So if you do have a USB host uh, for your keyboard, I highly advise you to hook that up because it's going to be a lot going to type in. Alright, now let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is update the Arc Linux system. So we're going to type in Pacman space capital S U Y and hit enter. And then hit yes, and hit enter, Y for yes, and enter, and it's going to update our Pac-Man system. Or our Arc Linux system, <laughs> using Pac-Man command. Pac-Man's funny name for this. Okay, now that that's finished, next thing you need to do is type, set up tight VNC server. So what you want to do is type in Pac-Man space dash capital S tight VNC space xorg space fonts msc hit enter 
hit yes and now it's going to download and install type VNC server all right so now that has finished next thing we need to do is export our home and user variables and trust me it's easier than what it sounds what you want to do is type in export home in all capitals root and hit enter now you want to do is type in export user in all capitals and then hit enter. All right, so now that you've done that, next thing we need to do is export a display. So then once again, type in export display in all capitals uh, equals quotations colon one <laughs> and quotes. There you go, I'm actually trying to hold a keyboard and type at the same time, so this is becoming very cumbersome. All right, cool. Now let's export our VNC server. Or not export it. Oh, don't do that. Let's actually set up our VNC server geometry. So VNC server space dash geometry. Hopefully I spell that right. Space 1280 by 720. And of course, if your resolution on your phone is different, you can type in or substitute these values for your phone's resolution. And then enter. And set the password. Yeah, don't make your password short or else you're going to have to redo the VNC server geometry thing. All right, and now we don't want to be only password. Enter. Okay, great. All right, <laughs> now we just did most of the hard stuff. We set up, we export our variables, we set up tight VNC server, we download and installed it. Now what we need to do is set up a desktop environment. Now, here's the thing. You have a couple of choices when it comes to desktop environment. If you like it fast and uh, flexible, then I highly suggest that you download LXDE. It's not the most visually appealing thing out there in my opinion. However, it is very fast and it will work conveniently and it will just be very, very fluent on your Android device. Now, if you're like me, and I, I'm the type of person, I like, you know, a little spiciness here and there and I kind of really like the visual look to things, I prefer GNOME. And GNOME is great, except it really uses up a lot of RAM, and <laughs> it's not the best thing probably to run on an Android device. So the options for desktop environments are up to you. For this video and everything, I'm just going to use LXDE because it uses less space. If you choose to use GNOME, be aware that it is uh, it's going to take up around, I think, 1.5 gigs of space in itself. So you're probably going to need at least a 3 gig image file to use GNOME. So, anywho, after all that long lecture, I'm going to download and install LXDE. So, once again, if we're going to do LXDE, just follow what I'm doing. Pac-Man, space, capital X, S, excuse me, and type in LXDE. Hit enter. Alright. And we can just hit enter again. We're going to install all of it. And hit Y for yes. And as you can see, uh, it's going to take a little bit to install it, so just give that another minute to install. Alright, now we're just a few steps away until we can run Arc Linux. So now, after I finish installing, what we want to do is type in start LXDE and hit enter. Alright, so don't worry if you get any weird errors like I'm getting right here. LXDE still started, and yeah, so just ignore the errors, no big deal, <laughs> you know. System crashes, really no big deal. Alright, so after you start LXDE, what we want to do is go to Android VNC, and we want to kind of VNC into our clinic so we can actually see what we're doing. So let's go to Android VNC. Oh, what's up? Android VNC. There we go. And turn this around. All right. So this is what you need to fill out real quickly is um, you can have, you can fill out the name if you want to. That's, that really doesn't matter. Uh, password, the password you set up. Address, leave that blank. And port, change that to 5901. Now, in a rare case, 5901 does not work. Try 5902, 5903, and so on. Um, chances are 5900 is not going to work at all. So 5901, and the color format, let's change it to 24-bit for BBP, or BPP. Huh, weird way. All right, and we can hit connect. And look at that. We are in Arc Linux, and there's our nice LXE environment. All right, so we are in Arc Linux, and it's working great. As I told you before, I'm using my USB um, host for my keyboard and mouse. And if you're using a USB host, just to note, you go to input mode, 
and make sure it's on um, mouse pointer control and that way when you move around you just click and that's where the mouse goes to and it works pretty well so let's just see the performance of this so I'm gonna go down here and let's open up start menu let's go to internet and I can't even see what I'm clicking wow um alright here I think it's that browser that is not a browser Sound of video, system tools, okay, I don't know where to go. Okay, as always, let's always go to file manager. <laughs> when in doubt, go to the file manager. All right, and as you can see, we're in our file manager right now. And we can explore all the contents that are here and everything else. Now, just to give you an idea of performance, I'm just uh, minimizing and we're kind of resizing it constantly. And you can see the performance is pretty smooth. I mean, yeah, there's some um, graphical gl glitches as I'm doing it, but... For most part, it's keeping up with what I'm doing, so that's pretty neat here. And yes, this is connected to the internet, if I can find an internet browser. Like, um, we could probably try to install the Chromium web browser. I'm not sure if that's going to work, because of the architecture, but let's try it. Pac-Man. Okay, and Target's not in a repository for this one. So like I said, you're going to have to play around and find some architectures, and um, anything you can work with. But I mean, pretty much, this is a video just showing you how you can get this up and running. The customization and what you do with this is all up to you. Like I said, there, don't let the absentness, <laughs> don't let the lack of applications or just, you know, stuff on the first boot turn you down because there is so much you can do with Arc Linux. And I mean, if you're a person who really likes to sit down and play with this, then you can really get this up and running and get this to be a really decent and cool operating system. All right, so when you're done, what you wanna do is go back to terminal and shut it down just so it's not running in the background. So go back to terminal emulator. And once in terminal emulator, what you wanna do is type in exit. And hit enter. And what it's gonna do is kill the croat process, kill everything, and press enter. And it's gonna shut down Arc Linux just so it's not running in the background and killing your battery. Alright, so this has been how to run Arc Linux on your Android device. I highly suggest that you download this, check it out, and have fun with it. Like I said, Arc Linux is a great operating system. If you really want to get your hands dirty and just play around with stuff and customize Linux to your very own liking, it's a great, great system. So thanks for watching, and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.